one. Two. Three. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, as you can probably tell, this isn't your usual Battlefield by Company 2 or any first person shooter. Um, this is some Rugby World Cup 2011 demo. And uh, basically, I, uh, I wanted to make a video about this. So as I close my window, I'm going to hear a loud bang. Okay. I wanted to make a video about this because, well, I'm, I'm a big rugby player and I've been playing rugby for um, about hmm, 10 years, maybe. A little bit more than that, maybe. I uh, started back in 2001-2002, so I was, I've been doing it quite a while. I'm not uh, that good. <laughs> You'd have thought after that long I'm quite amazing, but no, not really. I'm sort of, you know, I, I'm pretty decent, but nothing incredible. Um, and then, yeah, so basically, the last Rugby World Cup game that came out, to give a bit of background to this, uh, was in 2007, technically, because it was one of the seasonal games. They did a um, rugby... 04, 05, 06, 07, 08. Or did they miss 07 out? I can't remember actually. And but yeah, in 08 they had um, well EA Sports did their did their rugby games, and then they haven't done one since because I guess well a they it wasn't brought to the new consoles. I don't think I only saw it on PlayStation and the original Xbox, PlayStation 2 even, uh, which I played it a lot. Then that might have been my most played game on there, along with like Jack 3, which if anybody knows, I've just really enjoyed that game as well. Um, And basically, <laughs> sorry, I just completely got sidetracked then. Um, so basically, I, I've been waiting for a, a rugby game for the for this generation of consoles because I'm not going to play a rugby game on PC. In fact, I doubt I'll play any sports games on PC. Um, you know, it's just not not how I do things. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm very much at home on Xbox. Sorry, I'm typing someone on Skype because they wanted they asked me something. Anyway. Very much at home on like the Xbox 360, the controls and everything, and I know the control scheme for the PlayStation 2 literally like it was the back of my hand. And the first thing I noticed when I came onto this, when I was speaking to a friend, he was like, "It's really similar to Rugby 08." And I was thinking, oh, "Okay." First thing I noticed when I played this was it was almost a carbon copy of Rugby 08, except on an Xbox, like transfer it literally button for button almost. And I guess I'm being a bit stupid there because there is only so many fucking try saving tackle. Only so many sort of aspects of a controlling scheme that you can do. Like most first-person shooters are similar to how Call of Duty plays. Sure, there's your Halo and your Battlefield are slightly different, and they've obviously got their own features in there as well. But most of the time, that button does that. That button does that, and you know you can kind of transfer between them pretty easily. Nothing, nothing, nothing too hard. But yeah, obviously, like it'll take you a bit of a while. But I just found with this that I was like, this is really really similar and the more I played the game the more I thought exactly the same thing that this was literally almost exactly Rugby 08 but they decided to move it onto the Xbox 360 now it is only the World Cup game and a lot of people have said because there's another big contender for the rugby games coming out this year it's called Rug uh, Rugby Challenge I believe it's it's made by a southern developer I believe because it's based around the uh, All Blacks and that's obviously might be because um the All Blacks have, are hosting the World Cup this year, but also because Jonah Lomu is supposed to be like the big figurehead on the on, on the cover and everything, and he's a really famous uh, All Black player. And the All Blacks, by the way, in New Zealand, they're a really good rugby team. Probably the favourites to win this year. Um, so yeah, I was playing it, and I'm thinking a lot of this gameplay is what I've seen before. I mean, it doesn't exactly look a lot better. It, there's a, it is improved graphically, I'll give it that. The crowd isn't a load of flat surfaces anymore. And, and the players actually have different faces. Uh, the problem with the rugby games is obviously that they never sold as well as FIFA or, let's say, NFL or something. But, and so EA never gave it a lot of financial backing, or not as much. I'm sure they actually did give it quite a bit of money, but you never got as much, so you never got a, like, a massive variation in the game. Um, the rugby way was actually a surprisingly like, fun game for me, and I would still play it now. But obviously, you know, as you, as you move on, you, you expect graphics to step up. And they have stepped up somewhat, but from what I've seen, Rugby Challenge is sporting much better graphics, or much improved graphics on this. So, 
I would say if you're looking for a game like that, and also I just think Rugby, rugby Challenge is going to be a better game. There's been nothing released to play yet, but there's been released footage, like the trailers and stuff. And it looks a lot more in-depth. There looks a lot more sort of to it. And the one thing that I'm quite happy about is the kicking system. You won't see that from me until the sec until like the last like five minutes because this was actually quite a tough, surprisingly tough half. As I nearly thought we'd uh, lost it there, but yeah, you know, flying tackle. Um, most of the time, I, you can't do a lot on this demo actually. You only get to play the first half. You only get to play England, South Africa, which I believe was the first game in the pool uh, of 2007, but I might be wrong there. And there isn't, you can't do any team management, you can't change any of the settings like the difficulty or time of the half, so it's, I think it's a four minute half. Um, and you can only play, well you can play either side, and I've played either side, but there isn't, there isn't a massive difference. I think I did a bigger win point difference thing with South Africa. Um, but yeah, like the kick off everything, everything like here is rugby away. You could play rugby away and you would maybe have like, it's maybe change like, the smallest bit like just because it looks slightly different but overall it's really not special um, I mean if it was the only rugby game coming out this year I think I'd buy it but the fact is that there's two games one of them looks a lot better and this again is as I said the only other World Cup game um, and a lot of people have related it to FIFA 10 I believe it was in FIFA the World Cup game then um, which is sort of a similar way I guess you can look at it like that little kicking system actually is exactly the same I think the bar was like green or something in the other game but other than that it's almost the same and again I know you can't change it a lot but I still feel that I, I just feel that they haven't they've just gone into it thinking okay we've already got a template for a game let's just use that and throw a little bit different software different stats on the players and stuff because the stats didn't change in the last game uh, 05 Jason Robinson who was a ex-England player <coughs> Uh, who probably was my favourite player actually, but he's, his stats almost, I don't think they changed at all in three years, and he was in his 30s by then, like qu quite a bit into his 30s by then, so he was an old guy, and he was still one of the fastest players on the on the, um, on the game, which which was true in real life as well, he was really, really fast, but um, it's just like, you would have thought his, like, everything would have decreased just that little bit, but no, I guess not. Um, so it was just one of those things, you know, I want to see a rugby game come out, and obviously I'm, you, know, you can't be unrealistic and think it's going to have the, like, the financial backing for them to develop uh, a FIFA-like game for, for, the ex um, for, for the rugby series. I mean, it doesn't sell that well in America, and that's obviously where the majority of the sales have come from, which is a shame because the sport is biggest in Europe um, and, you know, like Australasia or Oceania, I don't know what, what's the correct term for it. Also, Cueto, by the way, if you play him, he almost breaks a tackle every single time he gets running. That's something I've noticed playing about five or six halves with him, which I don't know. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to see the strength start and then find a ton of players like him. Like I know you could do that with a Umunga in the la in rugby away, but that was when he didn't. That was when he before he retired. Who was another All Black, the guy that spear tackled uh, Brian O'Driscoll in the Lions 12 2005. Cool story. Anyway. But that's nearly the game wrapped up, I think. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, they won't have enough money to develop a game like FIFA, so it'd be silly for me to think they will ever make a game on that calibre of, like, sort of fluidity and uh, detail and everything. But I just, I just, I'm always just wanting a rugby game to come out, which was good enough to keep me, to keep me there for maybe... You know, sort of alongside Battlefield 3 and Skyrim this year. And I think this might. So um, I've gone over, so I'm just going to wrap up there. And uh, I'll see you guys in two weeks. I'm going to France on Monday. I, or is it Sunday? I actually know if I'm going on Monday. It might be this weekend. So I might just disappear suddenly. And I've really gone over, so I'm just going to leave it there. All right, guys. Uh, see you soon.